Mark and Lynette, good morning. Russia has conducted drills of the country's strategic nuclear forces. It comes as the U.S. warns of a Russian invasion of Ukraine. The president saying it's imminent. The U.S. Defense Secretary in Lithuania echoing the concern. For months now, Russia has been building up its military forces in and around Ukraine, including in Belarus. They are uncoiling and are now poised to strike. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin assuring the three Baltic nations they would not be left alone if faced with security threats from Russia, saying the U.S. has sent additional forces east to reinforce NATO allies with thousands on call to deploy if needed. With Russian battleships conducting naval exercises in the Black Sea and 190,000 of their troops surrounding Ukraine, President Biden yesterday said for the first time he is convinced, based on significant intelligence, that Vladimir Putin, Russia's president, has decided to invade and soon. We have reason to believe the Russian forces are planning to uh, and intend to attack Ukraine in the coming week. In the coming days, we believe that they will target Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, a city of 2.8 million innocent people. President Biden says he's leaving the door open to diplomacy while accusing Russia of staging false flag attacks in a part of eastern Ukraine controlled by Russian backed separatists, saying Putin is falsely blaming the attacks on Ukraine and may try to use these to justify an invasion. President Biden has been clear the U.S. stands and is prepared to defend its European NATO allies, promising severe sanctions against Russia if they invade, also saying the U.S. will not send troops into Ukraine, which is not a NATO member, by the way. The president saying he believes Putin will target the capital of Kyiv, as you heard. And here's reaction to the tension on the streets there. We try to stay calm and do not panic, but we, of course, worried about our families and relatives who stayed in our home city. That's in an eastern part of Ukraine and in a rebel-controlled area there. Look at this. Residents having a hard time withdrawing cash. They've been told by separatists to evacuate the area, the region there. The order came amid a spike in violence along the line of contact between Ukrainian forces and pro-Russia separatists. Today, Ukraine's president met with U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris and also urged Western nations to make public specifics of what exactly sanctions against Russia would look like. Like before a possible invasion of Ukraine, urging the U.S. and others not to wait for an attack. That's the latest live in the newsroom, Mark. I'll send it back to you. Lauren Lister, thanks for those live reports all morning long. So the possibility of open war between Ukraine and Russia causing some concerns right now about the economic impacts here at home and also across the world as well. It includes a sharp increase in the price of gasoline. Some oil analysts think that if fighting does in fact break out, oil could